Hi, it's Julie from Considerate Joy Homestead. Let's talk about quiche. So quiche is one of those meals that are very versatile. You can make it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. When you make it for breakfast, you can add sausage or bacon, pretty much anything that you would want to have uh, in it for your breakfast, and it's really nice. Uh, at supper time, I like to add portobello mushrooms, spinach, some sautéed onions and peppers, um, little pieces of ham, just whatever you have available and it's quick and easy. You can make your own crust or you can buy pre-made crust. Today I'm going to show you with a pre-made crust just for a time factor. Sometimes that's an issue here. Uh, I often will keep just a couple of pie crusts in the freezer so that you can throw something together like for church dinner or whatever. You can just put something together real easy. And quiche is great for when you have chickens that have started laying and you have so many eggs you don't know what to do with it's a good way of utilizing some of those and in 2022 I'm trying to make it a goal for our family to be better stewards of what we have so that we don't have as much waste and I want to make sure that I'm not wasting a precious commodity like eggs we give a lot of eggs away every year um, we have neighbors that we give them to friends and a lot of times we still get inundated with eggs so this is one way that you can utilize those eggs in a quiche feed your family um, usually I use six eggs per quiche now sometimes depending on how many people you're feeding I'll make two so that's usually utilizing a whole dozen eggs um, for a dinner and you can also make quiche in advance and freeze it and then just pull it out and pop it in the oven when you're ready and that's another way that you can preserve those eggs and have a pretty quick and easy meal just to pop in the oven and feed your family. So in the quiche I'm making, I've got some peppers, onions, mushrooms, all sauteing here in this pan. Kind of cooking down a little bit and, and softening up. You can use butter, you can use whatever oil of your choice to saute these up, but we just really want to just cook them down just a little. I also have some coarsely chopped spinach and ham that we're going to put in with it as well. Um, I've got a shredded cheddar cheese, um, Mexican style blend for ours, and we're going to use between four and six eggs depending on how full it looks like we're getting. I've got a couple eggs in here that are kind of big, so we might only need four. And I'm using heavy whipping cream. You can use heavy whipping cream, you can use um, milk, or you can use a combination, whatever you feel comfortable with. And for today, I just have a store-bought crust. While everything is browning, we're gonna go ahead and start getting the eggs ready. Got a little shell in there what I get for trying to do everything one-handed. All right. Not too shabby, though. All right. That big one. That was a big yolk. So then we'll go ahead and we'll add in two-thirds of a cup of heavy whipping cream. This is a third cup. I'm going to do two-thirds of a cup. Add that to it. And salt and pepper. You can use garlic powder. Whatever your spices of choice are, I'm just going to use a little salt and pepper today. 
And I went ahead and put the salt in and the pepper in because there was no way I was going to be able to do a salt grinder with one hand. Cracking a couple eggs is one thing, but trying to use a pepper mill or salt mill, just, I'm not that talented, one-handed. I'm just going to kind of mix that up. And it looks like we are doing fabulous over here. Everything's looking good. I'm just going to use those four eggs. I don't think I'll have much room for else, or much else. I do have that deep dish, so that's good. So from here, let me turn this off. It's just a matter of adding all of the ingredients to our dish, and you can do that in a variety of different ways. Now, um, I'm using a cup to a cup and a half of cheese. I'm just kind of grabbing it by hand, eyeballing it, mixing that in there. Got a little splashy. All right. And then I'm going to add in this uncooked spinach. It does wilt down and shrink up some as it's cooking. It'll be mixed in there with all that egg and cheese goodness. And our ham. Now, I am not going to put in this whole mess of uh, peppers and mushrooms. I'm going to use part of it in a different dish. So I'm going to go ahead and take about half of this and add it in. Give everything a good turn. Mix it all up. Pour it right there into my crust. Sometimes I can add a little more cheese to the top. I kind of get everything mashed down real good in there. So that there's egg on everything. Sometimes I'll put a little more cheese on the top side. We're going to have a our oven preheated to 375 and um, for this size crust we put it in there for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's completely cooked in the center so I'll show you that here in a few minutes now when it's finished it's more like this this is perfect the crust is a little bit more browned and it's solid so that when I cut this, I can cut it into slices and it'll all hold together. And it looks delicious. I know what's for supper tonight. <laughs>